Okay, uh, one more time. If, um, like I said, if it had been disproved, that would deal with all psi. However, if an experiment, were, if an effect were found, you know, constantly replicable over a series of studies, no matter published by skeptic or psi proponent at this point, uh, using this format, um, that would give an indicator that there is, in fact, uh, something to psychic phenomena, and that it could be uh, tested for in such means as just by um, outnumbering one skeptic by a, num by a great number of believers, just in order to quell skepticism from happening. Uh, as well, at that point, we'd also have a secondary effect that could be measured into to uh, see, um, hopefully giving us an idea of what sort of physical laws might govern psi or something like that, should it exist. That's why I'm stressing that it is necessary to test for it under this definition. I've already offered $100 to the first experimenter who can come up with this. Um, anybody who wants clarification further on the definition or would like a full, uh, a more uh, fleshed out argument as to what we're testing for, just message me and I'll message you back with uh, full details including sources and ha what have you. And uh, if you do test for it and find it, you will get the $100 regardless of what direction it comes in. Toodles.